Well, we're invested in our workforce development pipeline in all of the places where we work, from the governor's office all the way to the craftsman that's coming to work in our facilities. If you think about on the manufacturing side, um, the people that are going into manufacturing today, you know, they really require some, the ability to synthesize math and physics and, and those kinds of things. Sometimes when we have folks coming right out of a high school situation, they're not ready to apply that. And so we have to, we actually have to do a lot of training in that regard. We have to turn uh, really motivated, highly energetic, passionate folks into shipbuilders when they come in our gates. And, and so we, we invest heavily in that process. The fact is that uh, we provide a, a, an apprenticeship, a qualified certified apprentice program for particular crafts, for people who are interested not only in learning their craft, uh, but also eventually moving into the leadership ranks in our company. We have vice presidents who are graduates of our apprentice programs, and we value that uh, apprenticeship uh, as much for its leadership training as for the craft training that we do. At Newport News, we believe that uh, we probably have the gold standard there for apprentice programs. Uh, that program is on the clock. You come to work, you get paid to go to school. It's a four-year program. Uh, and when you graduate, you're very close to the credits that you would need for your associate's degree, and we now have a path from there right on into your bachelor's degree. I can't say enough about our co-op programs uh, across, whether it's engineering co-ops or in our business management uh, areas. The co-ops that we have, it, it actually does a couple of things for us. It gives us a chance to see new talent uh, and keep a close connection with the, with the universities who are kind of on the front edge of some of the new technologies that are out there. So that's, our, that's one way for us to stay in touch with that. By the end of that semester, more often than not, they're interested in a, in a much longer commitment from us and we're interested in a much longer commitment from them. We know this works because the people that we invest in this way stay with us. When we invest in quality people, they know they're being invested in and they understand uh, that there's more to come. I think business leaders need to be much more thoughtful about investing in this. In workforce development and in the workforce development pipeline, what you put into it will affect what you get out of it. If you sit at the end of the pipeline and are just looking for stuff to come out, you will probably not be very happy with what you get out of it. But if you're involved in it, and you're involved in it in all levels, you'll get to a place where you kind of wonder, how did you ever not do this? And once you start doing it, you can't stop.